on shooting with accuracy, hitting the net more consistently, and scoring more goals. Today I'm talking about shooting with power. However, I need to start by saying it doesn't matter how hard you can shoot the ball if you can't hit the net consistently. You cannot score goals if you don't hit the target. So although today we're talking about shooting the ball harder, increasing your shot power, your number one priority should be hitting the target. So I have three things I want you to focus on to have a harder shot. The first thing is your foot technique. The flex in your foot especially. So when I'm hitting the ball, I wanna have a nice strong flexed foot. If I hit the ball with a weak ankle, a weak foot and weak toes, I'm going to have a weak shot. So when I come through the ball, I should have a flexed strong foot. As you can see, my toes are pointed to the ground. Okay, my foot is flexed. And if you should almost feel like, oh, this kind of hurts to flex my foot like that. If you flex on your weaker foot, it almost, almost feels like you can't do it, like it's not strong enough. But if you keep focusing on that over time, the flex in both of your feet will feel natural and it will be a lot easier. So number one, your foot technique. When I make contact with the ball, I want to have that flexed, strong foot go through the ball. A lot of us are claiming that we're having a strong, flexed foot, but the truth is, as soon as you hit the ball, your ankle is going weak. So you may be flexed up until this point, but then you hit the ball and your ankle goes weak like that. If you have a weak ankle and a weak foot when you make contact with the ball, you're gonna have a weak shot. So if you're having a lot of backspin on your shots and it's going too high or it's just a really weak shot, it's probably because when you're making contact, your foot is something like that. It's weak, okay? You wanna flex strong and you wanna keep that through the ball, through making contact with the ball. So before, but also when I make contact, I wanna push through the ball with that strong flexed foot like that. So number one, in order to increase shot power is your foot technique. Okay, you wanna flex through the ball, strong through the ball. Do not let your ankle, do not let your toes, your foot go weak. Think about a strong flex. The next thing I want you to think about is the range of motion with your kick. So a lot of us, we're going to shoot the ball and our range of motion is only something like this. It's very difficult to generate a lot of power if you have a very small backswing and forward swing. So instead of something like this, I wanna be more like here, backswing. I'm almost kicking my butt and falling through the ball. So I have a bigger backswing I'm gonna be able to generate more power. So in addition to the big backswing is the speed of this swing. The quicker I move my leg, the more power I can generate as long as my foot stays flexed. If I have a slow swing, it's gonna be a slow, weak shot. But if I have a quick swing and a nice big backswing, you're gonna generate more power. The final thing I want you to think about especially if you're really trying to kill this ball, is your body positioning. Because like I said, it doesn't matter how hard you can hit the ball if you can't get it on a target. And if you are doing those things we talked about, flex foot, really big swing, but your body control is back here, okay, it's gonna be tough for you to control that ball. So if you really are thinking about, okay, I'm gonna hit this ball, I'm gonna kill this one, you need to make sure that your body gets here over the ball. Also, I can generate more power if I plant and I get over the ball here. If I'm planting back here, where I'm unbalanced and I'm just swinging at it, lunging for it, tough to get control, also tough to generate power. If I can get here though, get a good strong plant, get lower over the ball, and I keep that strong flex foot, I can generate more power. So think about those things. Flex foot, bigger backswing, and quicker swing. And most importantly, get your body over the ball if you're thinking about hitting it hard.
want to give you guys some bonus tips before we leave today. Because as I was doing these shots for the videos, honestly, the harder I tried to shoot the ball, because I really wanted a powerful shot for the video, the harder I tried to shoot the ball, the worse my shots were. But the second I just took a step back, took a deep breath and said, hey, I'm just gonna focus on the technique. That's when the shots started flying into the top corner. When I was trying to kill it, they were going into the ground, they were going over the net, missing the target, very inconsistent. But the second I just focus on technique, not trying to kill it, just good technique like we talked about, that's when the shots flew into the top corner with power. So understand, power comes from technique. It doesn't come from trying to kill it as hard as you possibly can. It comes from good technique. Okay, so even there you can see like my body's like really tense and it's just not natural, it's not flowing. So if you want those good strong shots, focus on the technique and the power will come. It will surprise you, honestly. So like I said, those three things, flex foot, <laughs> nice follow through, just like that into the top corner. And there I was kind of like casual, but the good technique, it just flies into the top corner. The other thing that I wanted to talk about that I didn't really address in enough detail in the beginning was the follow through. So sometimes, like if the ball is getting away from me, I might need to do a chopped fall through, like stop my fall through short. Because if I fall through here, it's gonna go over the target. But when you can get over the ball and you're falling through, make sure that that foot is falling through to the target. But you don't wanna come too high like this. You wanna like a, a low fall through towards the target. So again, it's nice natural, but my fall through is low towards the target. If I come and fall through kind of like this, it's gonna go high. Or if I fall through like this, it's gonna go uh, miss the net to the right. So I want that fall through straight to the target. Don't hit the ground like that. But think about having your fall through nice and low. Keep it low through the ball and you'll be surprised. That's when the, you're gonna get those risers that just go into the top corner. Like I said, if I fall through like that, leaning back, it's just gonna go over the net. So understand, technique produces power. Power comes from technique. It doesn't come from trying to kill the ball as hard as you possibly can.